Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In today's lecture, I will discuss probability density function. You will understand here what we mean by probability density function. It's a formal definition, mathematical expression and its various properties. But before starting this topic, I would uh, recommend you to watch my previous videos that will explain you what we mean by sample space, random variables and uh, also the cumulative distribution function. Because the probability density function is the derivative of cumulative distribution function. Okay? So, it is necessary that uh, you should have an idea about uh, CDF also. You can find the link of these two videos in the description of this video. These videos are what are random variables and the another is based on what is cumulative distribution function CDF. Okay? But uh, for your ease, I would uh, like to define these terms. So, what is sample space? Sample space is the range of all possible outcomes of an experiment. Okay? Whenever we do any experiment, then all the outcomes that are possible would be contained in the sample space. While a random variable is a function which can take on any values from the sample space and having range of some set of real numbers. So, it is a random variable. And uh, what is cumulative distribution function? Here let us see it in short. The cumulative distribution function of a random variable x, we know random variable now, may be defined as the probability that the random variable x takes a value less than or equal to x. Okay? It, its value is the probability that the random variable would be less than or equal to x. Okay? The CDF can be defined mathematically as this. This is the notation for uh, the CDF. It denotes that probability that x, the random variable x is less than or equals to x, small x. Okay? Now, let us come to probability density function. So, probability density function is nothing but simply the derivative of this cumulative distribution function CDF with respect to some dummy variable. Okay? It is the probability density function. We denote it as we call it in short as PDF. Okay? And mathematically, we can define it as PDF. This is the notation small as f and this x, this uh, capital X denotes the random variable. So, this is the notation in um, for CDF, we use the capital F, while for PDF, this probability density function, we use small f. Okay? So, it is defined as simply as the, this is C, uh, CDF, cumulative distribution function. So, the differentiation of the cumulative distribution function with respect to some dummy variable. Okay, this d by dx. Now we will see the properties of a probability density function. Okay, with its uh, derivations. So the property number one is PDF is always non-zero for all values of x. We can write it mathematically as f of x is greater than or equals to zero for all. This is the notation for uh, for all okay for all values for all values of x so it is always non zero why it is non zero because uh, as we have seen in the previous video based on cumulative distribution function that this cdf increases monotonically okay and uh, now we understand that pdf probability density function is the derivative of the cdf mathematically we can write it as as this okay so it will also be positive because the derivative of a monotonically non decreasing function is always positive okay therefore this f of x is greater than 0 small f of x this is pdf is always greater than 0 here is the property number 2 property number 2 is the area under the pdf curve probability density function curve is always equal to unity unity means one so the this integration area under the curve means if we take a whole range that is from minus infinity to infinity for for this x so this is small f of x integral over 
uh, minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equals to 1 that is unity so this is the area under the pdf curve we have integrated it integration means area integrated it from minus infinity to infinity so it is equals to 1 why it is 1 let's see in the proof proof is since pdf is expressed as this it is the differentiation of cdf okay so on integrating both sides let's integrate these uh, both sides left hand side and right hand side with respect to x okay so simple mathematics from minus infinity to infinity we integrate both sides okay so this you can see that uh, this integration we want to calculate is equals to since we know that uh, integration and differentiation since we are differentiating it with respect to x and also integrating it with respect to x so these are reverse processes of each other integration and differentiation so they cancel out each other's uh, operation so here we only get this integration gets cancelled with this differentiation and we get here fx and only the limits are remained minus infinity to infinity and uh, upper limit minus lower limit you all know the integration definite integration so fx infinity minus fx minus infinity this this capital f denotes the cdf this is not pdf this is cdf and uh, by the definition of uh, cumulative distribution function we know that cumulative function distribution function is the probability that this random variable x is less than or equals to small x so the probability by the properties of uh, cdf we know that this is 1 and this is minus this is this fx minus infinity is 0 so it is 1 why it is uh, 1 and why it is uh, 0 because by definition of cdf we know that the cdf is just the probability that this x is less than equals to small x this is small x is infinity here so it is very certain that uh, anything will be smaller than the infinity infinity is the largest number so its probability is one that this uh, capital x random variable would be less than infinity so it is sure event so its probability is one and uh, the probability that this x would be smaller than this minus infinity is obviously zero because nothing can be less than minus infinity so its probability is zero so one minus zero is one here okay i hope you got it let's come to property number three now properties of pdf probability density function it is possible to get cumulative distribution function by integrating pdf as we have uh, seen that uh, we can get the probability density function by differentiating the cumulative distribution function so its reverse is also true that we can get back the cumulative distri distribution function by integrating the probability density function just the reverse this is obtained by differentiating this one and this this can again be obtained by integrating this pdf so by integrating definite integration from minus infinity to x okay keep this in mind now let's see its proof this small f denotes the pdf capital f means cdf okay so fx this is the basic definition we know probability density function is the differentiation of a, a cumulative distribution function so let's integrate it both sides we integrated both sides from minus infinity to x okay we integrated this from minus infinity to x with respect to x okay and this one also so this is the same expression here and uh, in this side as i told you that integration and differentiation both are performed here with respect to x differentiation is with respect to x integration is with respect to x so they will cancel each other as they are uh, reverse operations we are only left with the limits so the limits for this uh, cdf are from minus infinity to x so on putting the limits upper limit minus lower limit fx of x minus fx this lower limit put this lower limit minus infinity here and this is fx same 
and uh, as I uh, recently discussed that this uh, CDF for minus infinity would be zero probability that uh, this x is smaller than minus infinity is definitely zero so this is capital F F F of X okay this is the CDF so here we can say that this this CDF is equals to this this was this side is equal to this side or so we can uh, write it in reverse order that this is equals to this we have just written it here so we have obtained now the cumulative distribution function by integrating the probability density function with respect to x from minus infinity to x okay now we will discuss the property number four for probability density function according to this property the probability that this random variable x lies between x1 and x2 is given by integral x1 to x2 f of x dx it means that if we want to, to find the probability that the random variable x what is the probability that the random variable x is between x1 and x2 since we know that uh, random variable these this is the random variable and these are the values present in the random variable so what is the probability that this random variable lies between these two two of its values x1 and x2 is given by simply integrating the probability density function if we have the probability density function for this random variable then we can just integrate it from x1 to x2 with respect to x okay so this is the fourth property so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, got the concept if you have any queries then you can write it in the comment section of this video and if you like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy i will upload uh, regular videos on this topic and you can get these notifications as soon as i release these videos so thanks for watching have a nice day bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye